they be from Moonlight Town? Whoa, did puppets do this?
Do you want to go up, child? I'm sorry, but the train isn't in service anymore. The cathedral isn't the sanctuary it once was. The people who went up there never returned. I still don't know what happened, but I do know this. The cathedral is off limits forever. If you're determined to pass, you must prove your identity. Who are you? Are you a stalker? Interesting. I thought all the stalkers died when the workshop tower collapsed. As for me, I'm as good as dead. A sinner who lost everyone I ever loved. I have no right to stop someone as determined as you. Please be safe up there. in Moonlight Town, we hope your preparations for the Pilgrim's Journey are well underway. Fascinating town, Moonlight, just fascinating. Back in the day, the only way to reach the cathedral was using a rope and pulley. <laughs> so, thanks for building it on a cliff, St. Frangelico. I kid, I kid, Frangelica, wonderful saint, wonderful. Anyway, next stop, the Bridge of Atonement. While you atone there, don't miss a magnificent view of beautiful Crot. <laughs> it's been my pleasure, friends, and enjoy the rest of your journey. I've been your captain on this ride, Gemini! <laughs> well, not bad, huh? Oh, I really am good at this. When in doubt, let Gemini be your guide. <laughs> you, uh, you look annoyed. What I do... Ah, I'm sure it's fine. Let's get a move on, pal. Oh, something's off. Do you see that over there? I recognize dead puppets, that's to be expected, but what is that? way around a weapon. One.
will use my power to help you. idea what those things are, pal. Approach with caution. What's their problem? Wait, wait, their bodies are strangely altered. I don't know what's going on, but keep those eyes of yours open. <laughs>
Ah, mercy, I beg you, don't kill me. <sighs> I thought you were from the organization. Uh, never mind. My name is Janjo. I'm an alch... Uh, a pharmacist. Yes, pharmacist. I'm looking for the legendary gold coin fruit. I was able to use medicine to slow the infection spread. I have the petrification disease and I need a cure. Sorry, I ramble when I'm nervous. Read this. It'll explain things faster than I can. M many substances can be poisonous. The precise dose is what separates medicine from poison. The gold coin fruit might just be a myth. But in the midst of an epidemic, it might be our salvation. C can you let me know if you find it? I'll give you this by way of payment. The people of ancient Krat knew how to bottle a wish upon a star. They claimed special powers after distilling the wish into a cube made from a meteorite. I don't know how it works, but, but it's said to react to someone who has ergo and grant them power. If you can help me with the gold coin tree, I'll give you more of this. I'm headed to the St. Frangelico Cathedral. You can find me there if you need me.
I'll use my power to help you. Trees are said to blossom when plague stalks the land. P perhaps they've already bloomed somewhere in Krat. The people of ancient Krat knew how to bottle a wish upon a star. They claimed special powers after distilling the wish into a cube made from a meteorite. It's said to react to someone who has ergo and grant them special power. Temporarily. Maybe you'll find a star to wish on, Stalker. <laughs> and if you do, I hope this cube helps you with that.
way around a weapon. Hmm. Isn't this uh, a cryptic vessel? Well, I would expect nothing less from you. What I mean, of course, is that this is a humble invention of mine. A cipher device. Once your information is locked in here, only you can get it out. <laughs> of course, once people realize the value of a truly unbreakable way to keep secrets, knockoffs flood the market. The trials and travails of true genius, forever copied, never credited. But I admit, even some of these knockoffs could still hold secrets. You're welcome to take a crack at, uh, well, cracking it. Who knows? It could lead you to something truly valuable. Or at least more practical. May I be of assistance? I can decipher this in moments, if you'd allow me. I admit I'm a bit rusty, but it's all starting to come back to me. Genius never sleeps and never truly abandons the truly brilliant. What? No, of course I didn't read the contents. Who has time to read anymore? <laughs> but uh, I could help you read it if you want to. power. So I kept it a secret that I could talk to puppets. Now you are the only one my voice reaches. So I beg you, please save Krat.
I'm surprised to see who's... well, alive. Oh, where are my manners? I'm Cecile, and I serve the Archbishop. I'm the only one left. Everyone's dead. From the petrification disease, or from the monsters. I didn't die, but my heart breaks more each day. Can you do me a kindness? Bring me the holy mark from the Archbishop's quarters. The Archbishop was a true saint. He was my savior. If I write his words into my heart, maybe it'll give me the strength to carry on. I can't die. But perhaps this can help me live again. Please, bring me the holy mark as quickly as you can. Welcome to Hotel Prat. How may I be of service? This is a supply box, officially approved by the city of Krat. I shall open it and add it to the hotel shop. Many thanks, good sir. Welcome to Hotel Krat.
Remember, I didn't design every puppet in Krat. It is not surprising that some puppets broke away from the Grand Covenant. I've no idea how many. I remember a few Ergo puppets behaving according to their own volition before the Frenzy. That wasn't our intention. They were never designed to act that way. But if a puppet starts acting on its own, does that mean the puppet has free will? Or is someone else controlling the puppet? The city of Krat. It's probably not how you remember it, eh? Ask me any questions and I'll fill in the gaps. Thanks to you, the factory is out of the puppet's clutches. Benini Works can resume making all sorts of supplies, not just more puppets. The puppets are still a problem, but at least they don't have endless reinforcements. I knew you could do it. I'm proud of you, son. The cathedral is famous for its wise and kind Archbishop Andreas. He offers sanctuary to countless refugees there. The thing is, I've lost touch with him. Perhaps no news is good news, but I'm a suspicious sort. And if the puppets push towards the cathedral, it could be devastating. Go save the Archbishop and the refugees before it's too late. I can't die. But perhaps this can help me live again. Please, bring me the Holy Mark as quickly as you can.
can't find the way out. Monsters everywhere. I need to grab my share and leave. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's odd. I thought I was the only one with a sound mind here. I'm sure I don't need to introduce myself? Note these golden wings? Yes, you guessed it. You don't know who I am. Preposterous! Everyone in Kratz has heard of me. Do you live under a rock? I'm Alidoro the Hound. Treasure hunter extraordinaire. Yes, yes, it's a nickname. I ditched my real name in the past. I'm looking for other survivors of this disaster, but it's uh, been a lonely search, and there's danger around every corner. Do you know of a place where I can take refuge? Preferably someplace clean and comfortable, you know, civilized. Vanini works. I didn't give that place much thought. That's where the puppets are being made, after all. But I heard tell of a shelter there as well. With no first-hand knowledge, I suppose I have to trust you. I have a lot of searching ahead of me, so why don't I lighten my load? Consider this an act of charity. A thank you gift. Take it. Since you're so helpful, I'll give you a peek at my collection. Show me what you're worthy of. As a descendant of aristocrats, the very best families, I have a duty to the common people. I live my life fulfilling that duty. And part of that duty is ensuring these items are returned to their rightful owners. What I'm showing you is just a portion of the collection. If you come to the refuge, we'll be able to continue our confabulation. Until then, remember this hound when golden wings shine.
Oh, thank you. Just seeing the Archbishop's holy mark renews my spirit. It's a reminder of the quiet power of faith. I'll remember this forever, Stalker. It's a reminder of the quiet power of faith. I'll remember this forever, Stalker. changing somehow. That is how you are unique. You can go beyond a puppet's limits. I don't even know if Geppetto is aware of this. Learn from how humans behave. How they feel. Even lie if you must. Those lies may change you. May rewrite reality. Lies are a weapon used by humans who thrive in a world of deception. I'll use my power to help you. here alone?
And now, the stage is set. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go back to the old Krat. The old me. Before the greed overtook me.
You? I didn't think we'd ever meet again. Can't say I'm happy to see you, though. <clears throat> Sorry, I let my frustration get the better of me. <laughs> this place is crawling with hostile puppets. You must have known that, but you still sent me here. Honor and trust are everything to this hound. You've insulted me to the core. I'll never forgive you. But perhaps there's a shred of decency in you? So I'll ask again. Do you know of a safe place? <laughs> nice try, but I've been there already and I know better. The puppets have already destroyed that place. <sighs> Again, you spurn my trust. But even a brave soul like me cannot afford another enemy in times like these. I shall show you mercy. Perhaps it will inspire a nobler spirit in you. But beware. Do not fool me ever again. You tricked me with your lie. You disappoint me. But I'm no stranger to beneficence, so I shall let it pass one more time. Know that even my forgiveness has its limits. Remember, the hound's fangs crave the traitor's neck. You tricked me with your lie. You disappoint me. But I... Remember. It seems the hotel is the only other option. Oh, it's you. This hotel is indeed a refuge from the dangers of the outside world. I and the Hound, a descendant of the city's most aristocratic families, repaying debts is what we nobles do. Betrayal creates a debt that is particularly hard to pay back. But I am a man with generosity and mercy in abundance. I shall give you the honor of viewing my treasure so that you may apologize. However, you must prove your worthiness. For this legendary treasure, mm, the ergo of a powerful enemy shall suffice. It's up to you if you want to make the exchange. Take your time to admire it. I've certainly done likewise. have no idea so many secrets are buried in crowd. Thanks for keeping me company. What are you curious about? I've been investigating the puppet frenzy and it looks like I need your help. First, let me show you a little something I've been working on. I call it the Ergo Wavelength Decoder. Mm, the name lacks a certain flair, but 
I assure you it works. If my suspicions are correct, something in the puppet's very ergo is causing their aggression. My decoder can find malicious signals within the waves, but I cannot possibly get close enough to gather the ergo wave records myself. You, on the other hand, would you? Could you? I... I refuse to believe the King of Puppets is truly behind this... this puppet rampage. It's too simple, but also a bit too much even for him. No. I suspect the Ergo itself is corrupted, or at least compromised. I do so desperately want to find the cause, as I'm sure you do too, my friend. It breaks my heart to see puppets turned into murderous tools of bloodshed. I always welcome friends. May I be of service? No one, not even I, know what started the puppet frenzy. Why? That day of all days... Ah, it was horrible. A violent rampage of murder and mayhem that is seared into my memory for all time. And it was never supposed to happen again. I made sure of it. Designed a few special parts to ensure they'd remain loyal. Puppet armies do not arise by chance. There was intent behind this. I don't want to leap to conclusions, but... The only one I know with that kind of power is the King of Puppets himself. I... We need to learn how this happened. You know that Stalker, the Hound? I is it true you brought him here? Well, I, I didn't know he was still alive. Thank heavens. I haven't seen him in person, and I don't know how I'd react. How do you thank the man who saved your life? <laughs> I'm so glad that someone so kind has reached safety. And speaking of safety, please take care of yourself out there. You're not the only one who's curious. Most people get around to asking where I'm from. My looks give it away, don't they? Suffice it to say, I'm from the country of the morning, beyond the ocean. <laughs> but I wouldn't be much of a tour guide. All I know about it is their weapons. My family was a house of weapon specialists. It's quite a reputation to live up to. They almost took charge of planning for the grand exhibition. But that's their reputation, not mine. And they deserted me when I was little. <sighs> I don't even know who they are. And my reputation is my own. I suppose my only connection to them would be... weapons. So I'm an orphan, and that hardly makes me exotic and crot. Can I help you with anything else? The cathedral. It seems nowhere is safe now. Maybe those who went there seeking refuge became monsters somehow. But the petrification disease turns you to stone, not into a monster. I'm worried about the Malam district.
just below the cathedral. I wonder whether there are monsters there, too. disease turned into a monster. That's just tragic. Could the disease lead to puppet frenzy? Hmm. No, that doesn't make sense. Remember, puppets cannot get the disease. But puppets shouldn't frenzy either. I made them to obey and protect humans, not go berserk and harm them. But the stalkers blame me. They think I worked with the alchemists to spread the disease to puppets. <sighs> How sad. All this resentment, with a lie at the root of it. That's why my only wish is that you stay a good boy. No resentment, no lies. The city of Krat ask me any... I don't know what's happening in the Malam district. The Black Rabbit Brotherhood seized the neighborhood. That's all I know. It was always a run-down neighborhood, but it's descended into anarchy, or worse. I'm hearing rumors of monsters rampaging through the district. Those poor people. They need your help, son. Rosa Isabel Street is a stronghold of the puppets. It's a hunting ground where the most dangerous puppets roam. I believe it's the epicenter of the puppet frenzy. After all, I detected the strongest wave of ergo there. Especially for someone as precious as you. It's a perilous place. And when you walk a dangerous path, my son, it's best to take it one step at a time. 